Uh, what's up guys, it's Look at the Legion here. Uh, today's video is mainly about how to create um, a good channel art from uh, basic stuff, all the stuff you made, uh, creating a perfect gradient between, you know, the thing you made and the background color. Sometimes you can't get that right and today I'm going to show you how to. Um, as you can see an example here, how it shifts from blue to um, slightly light orange and it, the whole picture fits. It's also done on our channel and um, I'll show you how to do that. Now, as you can see, again, from blue to almost brownish, darkish color, it looks really good. Um, first of all, the main thing that you want to do here is get your picture ready. Now, this is, if you want to do it in Cinema 4D, then that's absolutely fine. Um, I, will, I suggest, and I'll put the link in the description, about a tutorial from Attention. Um, here it's right there I'll keep a link in the description basically it teaches you how to make something similar to this I think that looks absolutely amazing so definitely give it a go um, so yeah after you've done your picture and got everything done um, what you want to do is grab the picture that whatever you made and recently uh, attention made this and I think it looks amazing it's a logo for my friend it looks really good and in the picture itself the contrast between blue and again brown um, it's mainly done in cinema 4g depending on the lightroom and then photoshop to make it look really good so we got the photo and what you want to do is launch photoshop and get the template for this i might leave it in the description if you guys want it but it's like a channel art template all right so what you want to do is grab the picture and drag it um bring it down i think that looks okay In, I'll, I'll see i'm just gonna drag this under layer one yeah i think i'm gonna resize that Control t just to resize um and then move around with the keyboard to make sure that it fits nicely with wherever you want all right so we've got this done now what you want to do is create an adjustment layer and drag it down and you want to create uh, a curve I guess oh I don't sorry about that yeah on. create a curve drag it under there and you want to just grab this a little bit up and bring that a little bit down so it gives you this overall pure quality image all right a drag uh I think, yeah which one do you guys like hmm i want to keep it that way now what you want to do is um get out your again create a layer and you wanna get your gradient and click on gradient here right there and make sure the gradient exactly uh, between the two colors that you've chosen or however you edit it in Photoshop or depending on what Lightroom used uh, in Cinema 4D if you created it there so my colors I wanna start it from around here so I click on the picture where I want it to start around the gradient and I wanna press OK and I wanna end it uh, approximately roundish there click ok now there's two ways I'm gonna try and drag this to make it look cool I think that looks ok this is just for tutorial purposes and but you're gonna have some little shadow over here but it, should, it shouldn't be visible um, so we've got this the transition. Now, what you want to do is um, mainly, um, I'm sure you, you want to grab your, you want to highlight the picture here, and what you want to do is add the adjustment, and you want to get the brush, 
and click on it now right click and it should come up with the size and hardness make sure the size is around 400 and the hardness at zero make sure your background color is black and yeah now what you want to do is just brush and continuously brush Now that's it pretty much you make sure that's faded completely and that's done and yeah that's pretty much it make sure if you want to make it look stand out concentrate the gradient more I chose it a little bit light so it's almost it doesn't fade from one side to the other it's just you know the same across but um yeah you want to fade that make sure it's completely done I don't have time for that so I'm just gonna Show, I just showed you the basic idea of what you should do. So again, you create the gradient and then you adjust it to make sure that it fades in across. You want to play with the curves if you want to make sure it looks brilliant. And that's pretty much it. Um, what you can do now is improve it. So add like text or something you like. Sometimes you add particles and um, the best way to do that is get um, attentions. Um, a GFX pack which is really helpful I'll show you what's inside uh, tensions pack dust and particles so I believe I want to use this one I'm gonna drag it and put it over I mean, I can make it the whole size, whatever f looks best. You know, drag this. You know, put that. Hold on. Let me put that down. Drag the screen. The whole screen. Just to give it that extra hint, or whatever you want. And you can improve the um, curves, the yeah, environments, and stuff. But that's the general idea. It creates this whole um, perfect gradient for you to work with, so your picture can stand out and looks good. I mean, that looks fantastic and I'll show you what it looks like on the actual design for this guy um, here we are you can see right there let's just yeah you can see the whole um, gradient like it fits perfect it's nearly the same but we didn't spend as much time but it looks good um, it looks actually really good and yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions then do a comment below uh, if you like this video then hopefully you enjoy more tutorials in the future um, I suggest you subscribe and I hope you enjoy your stay with our channel um, what is there else to say thank you very much for att attention who helped me out um, with a lot with this tutorial and Cinema 4D stuff which is really helpful so thank him again. Check him out, please do. If you're gonna subscribe to me, I would rather, I would rather you subscribe to him because he will teach you more. But our channel is mainly about gaming. I hope this tutorial actually kind of helped in a way to create a, a good channel. Up. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I hope hope you like this and uh, peace.